about the Zosi Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So the first thing you want to do is to install these brushes and it has labels on there. So you can see one says left and the other one says right. And if you flip the uh, vacuum cleaner over, you're going to see the same label. Alright, so this one right here says left and the other one is right. So we're going to install them accordingly. There we go. There you are. All right, so we got that installed. The next thing you want to do is to install the battery to the remote control. So go ahead and do that. All right, so we have a battery now on the remote control. Now, I would highly suggest for you guys to charge the vacuum cleaner first using the docking station over here. So these are the terminals. It creates a circuit and it charges the battery of the vacuum cleaner. All right, and also as you can see here, you have two quick start guide. One is the conventional, which means that uh, all you gotta do is hook up everything that we just did here and use this remote control and the second one is to set it up using an app to make it completely smart and that way you'll be able to control the vacuum cleaner or the smart vacuum cleaner using your cell phone so you have to install the tuya smart app either on the uh, app store or google play and follow the instructions accordingly and there's also instructions over here on the uh, paperworks okay so we're going to press the power button over here to turn it on. Uh, let's say we're gonna press it down for about two seconds. There we go. Power on. All right guys, so here's the vacuum cleaner on manual mode. I'm gonna use these directional buttons to control it. So let's try forward over here. There we go. So it really has a strong suction. manually controlling it as you can see. Alright guys, so if you wish to remove the dust accumulated by the vacuum cleaner or the smart vacuum cleaner, all you gotta do is press this button down. So you can see over here, press it down and then pull out. Like so as you can see, there's a filter inside and it also has a spare filter that comes with it. All right, and if you want to open this up, just do the same thing. Just push this down and then flip this over. As you can see, the hinges on each side over here. There you go. You can see a lot of dirt already inside. We have dogs, so you can see some furs. And there's the filter, super dirty already. For you to be able to control it using your phone, you're gonna need to install an app. It's called Tuya Smart. If you're on an iPhone or any Apple devices, you wanna go to the App Store. If you have Android devices, you wanna go to Google Play and search for Tuya Smart there as well. So I'm gonna do a search. I'm gonna type in Tuya. Choose Tuya Smart. Go ahead and install it. There you go, it's installing. All right, so once it's installed, you wanna go ahead and open it. From here, it's gonna give you two options, either log in or sign up. So if this is the first time you're doing this, or if this is the first time you installed the Tuya smart app, then go ahead and choose sign up. If you've had this before, then just go ahead and log on 
or log in using your email address and password for two smart app. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you are logged in, you want to go ahead and add the device or add a device. So I have here the Zuzi Smart Robot Vacuum Cleaner, and we're going to add this or link it up to our own network here at home. So I'm going to choose add device. So you want to make sure also that you are connected to a 2.4 gigahertz to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not the 5G or 5 gigahertz, because otherwise it'll not connect successfully. Okay, so now that we are connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, we're going to proceed and link the Zuzi Smart Vacuum Cleaner to our wireless network. On the left menu, we're going to choose Small Home Appliances. So, and then you wanna scroll down a little bit. Under clean, we're going to choose robot vacuum, the one in the middle that says Wi-Fi. All right, and here is the reminder that you should be connected to the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. Like so, I have the password key in over here and we're going to choose next. All right, so on this step, we're going to reset the vacuum cleaner and to do so, we're just basically setting it up to pairing mode. To do that, we're going to press and hold the power and the home button at the same time for about five seconds. So let's go ahead and do that. Wi-Fi lost. Please follow the app instruction for reconnection. You're going to hear a prompt. All right, we're going to go back to the app and put a dot on confirm. The indicator is blinking rapidly. Go and hit next. All right, now it's pairing. So give it about two minutes. All right. There you go. So it is connected. And on this part over here, you can change the name of the robot vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to keep it that way for the time being. And I'm going to choose done at the very top right corner here. And there you have it. There's the interface of Zuzi. Now on this section over here, it will give you some kind of a map. When you run the vacuum, it's basically scanning your, your room or your house. And so it's basically just mapping your the entire surface on your home and where it should go the next time it is summoned again, either through the remote control or within the app.